Korea has sharply escalated its confrontation with the U.S. and its allies with an aggressive new missile test. As Elizabeth Palmer explains, the country fired a suspected intermediate range missile over Japan for the first time in five years. Coastal communities in northern Japan woke up to the sound of sirens and warnings to prepare to evacuate. North Korea fired the missile from near its border with China, right over Japan. It took 22 minutes to fly 2,800 miles, a record distance for a North Korean missile, and crash into the sea. Japan's Prime Minister Fumio Kishida condemned the launch. It was, he said, a reckless act. The news was big and ominous enough for a special edition of the Yomiuri newspaper in Tokyo, spelling out the details to startled commuters. Analysts believe the missile was likely the huge Hwasong-12 on view in a military parade in January. Today's is the latest and most hostile of what's been a bumper year of 23 separate launches, and the first since 2017 to be aimed over Japan. That was at the last low point in North Korean relations, just before President Trump's attempt to negotiate with the leader Kim Jong-un. So far this time, Kim hasn't said a thing, but his message is clear. And Kim Jong-un says that he is both angered and threatened by America's growing military alliance with two of his neighbors in the region, South Korea and Japan. And Japan and the U.S. held joint jet military exercises today in response to North Korea's missile launch. And this video that was released shows Japanese F-15 and F-2 fighter jets flying with U.S. F-35B fighter jets. And in response to the test, U.S. and South Korean warplanes practiced bombing a target in the Yellow Sea as well.